Oi, oi, all right, all right, how's it going? I'm Grant, you're you, this is Doodle Review, coming through with a new output to uh, give a spin and chat some fraff about whether I like it or not, really. Uh, today is a run through the latest from Scotland's own Jesus and Mary Chain, the influential post-punk, noise pop, dream pop outfit who are back with their eighth record and first since 2017. While it's taken seven years to get this latest project Glasgow Eyes, that's really nothing compared to the 19 years fans waited for its predecessor Damage and Joy, an album I've had a lot of fun revisiting in preparation for this review. It's a record that seems to me to get better with age. In 2017, while enjoyable, my memory is that I found it maybe a little slow, maybe overwhelming with tracks initially, but in subsequent re-listens, re it it feels like a fantastic and quite timeless addition to the band's catalogue. It seems looking back, the album was maybe a little unfairly received at the time, perhaps because it offered limited, if not kind of zero, sonic surprises as to what the band would sound like despite the near two decade break. This perception was probably also helped along by the fact that quite a few of the tracks had already been available on various, uh, various compilations and side projects over the years as well. Glasgow Eyes, the newest album from brothers Jim and William Reed, in some ways you could argue responds to those critiques with a record that certainly feels like a Mary Chain project but offers an experimental and fairly abrasive counterpoint to the solid, familiar and comforting Damage and Joy. The results for me on the whole are quite engaging if not always mesmerising. The main thing you'll pick up as you make your way through the album is a much stronger embrace of synthesized elements than we heard the last time around. Where the songs, if they had used any kind of electronic elements at all, had just been supported by very clean, simple and contained vintage drum machines, here there are multiple bass sequences, analog synths, strange atmospherics and even vocoders at play. Venal Joy opens things up with a synth pulsing at an aggressively fast rate with another sound almost power drill like in its variable whirring tones trying to kind of push against it. The live drums and bass match the pace set by this analog mechanism and follow it even as it kind of grinds to a halt towards the closing half, giving way to the more minimalist and melodic electronics of American Born. The track Discotech does a great job of blending sounds of muted guitar strings and filtered synth notes until you can barely kind of pick the two apart and this forms the basis of the rhythm while unusual pinging noises pepper the rest of the track which overall slowly hypnotizes you as it relentlessly drives forward, vocals slowly joining the electronic part of the composition as vocoder becomes more present. Moments like this, that kind of growing cold electronic vocal, sometimes feel like the organic style of old trying to assimilate into this new electronic aesthetic. Chemical Animal even places the trademark Mary Chain just like Honey Bee under this that track's own layers of dark synthetic tones. I really enjoy this experimental and what sounds to be quite improvisational use of synthesizers on these tracks. The only criticism I have is that many of the songs, especially across the first half of the record, tend to all use a variation of the same kind of descending riff as their main motif, whether it's J-A-M-C-O-D, Discotech, American Born or even Mediterranean X Film, although that one's melody is a little more complex. They all kind of follow the same direction of travel, going from high to low on a single string, and it feels a little bland from a songwriting perspective. Around halfway through, the band start playing the other side of the fence again though, pushing their warmer, fuzzier, noisy alt pop to the forefront on songs like The Eagles and The Beatles. Here, the live guitars kind of win the battle against the electronics. Um, the electronics are there, but this time the synths are kind of submerged in the middle of the guitar rather than the other way around and it's really cool to hear that inversion next to the other songs. This track flips between sweet acoustic choruses and those fuzzier verses and it's a really enjoyable contrast against some of the other songs that are all in kind of one specific tone. Girl 71 provides us with a super punchy fuzzed out sparkly pop track that is a nice reminder of the classic Mary Chain sound amidst the rest of the stylistic experimentation. Such a crystalline blast of noise pop highlights even further the warped, sometimes atonal and slowly draining final track like Hey Lou Reed, a song with distant vocals and a general vibe that sounds like someone slowly letting the air out of a bruised and beaten bouncy castle until it completely collapses. 
as you'd come to expect on a Jesus and Mary Chain record, there's a general air of dry sarcasm to everything, but it's in the moments of bleak darkness that some of the best wording comes out. You've got a billion shiny things, I've got six dirty silver strings is a repeated line that stood out uh, in silver strings, as is hide the dark shit I don't show and hide the dark shit I don't know in chemical animals. I also really enjoy the self-referential elements. I didn't realise J-A-M-C-O-D, which I kept calling Jam Chord at first, maybe that is how you should say it, I don't know, but it was actually referencing the band and I suppose ODing or ODing on the band. Um, the band name also gets dropped in the song 2nd of June. It gets me leaping out of my armchair and pointing at the screen like the Leo DiCaprio meme every time. Honestly, this is a weird album when all is said and done, for better and worse. I think it's more challenging and out there than Damage and Joy, uh, but it's a record that very much creates its own world and when the architects of that world are probably about as cool as you can get in the world of alternative rock, then it's a world worth visiting. I'm gonna call this a solid seven and knock it on the head. That's what I think about it. What about you? Tell me how you feel in the comments below. Um, and keep a lookout for that subscribe button. I think it's knocking about somewhere down there. There's also links in the description to loads of other reviews that you might like. Um, yeah, check them out, subscribe, share some thoughts, show some love, or just help some abuse in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, mate. Bye.